thanks so much everyone for joining us you are looking fabulous so if this is your first time here on unstable tv do not forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything and if you're a returning viewer thank you so what have we got going on today on unstable tv then yeah so a couple of weeks ago we asked you to ask us would you rather questions or just any questions at all? So we're going to answer them today. Ooh -hoo. A big shout out to subscribers, friends and all alike for responding to our post and letting us know what you'd like us to say to your would you rathers and would you rather not. Ooh. Well yeah, I suppose it's how you answer the questions. Yeah, okay. yeah Keep it that way. <laughs> Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Thanks so much to everyone who did ask us. Thanks guys. You're the best. So we're going to answer these questions. Ooh. I was born ready. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so do you want to ask for it or will I ask for it? Yes. Yeah. So Greg Fitz asked us. We're going to pop the question here as well. So Greg we asked us two questions. Ooh. That was Greg. Shout out Greg. So the first one is, would you rather be rich or would you rather be immortal? Hmm, I'd rather be immortal. Yeah. Yeah, because think of all the knowledge you could obtain. That's true. You know, and you get to live a lifetime. The only, I think the only sad part about that would you live out of all your friends and family, so that'd be a bit sad. But I mean, knowledge, though. So you can gain a lot. That's true, you can. <laughs> and sure, if you're immortal, you can gain enough knowledge to become rich anyway. So that's kind of a double whammy. That's a fair point, too. What about you? Rich or immortal? I'd rather be rich because. I really wouldn't like to live through like a world war or anything like that. Your answer way, makes way more sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose if you're immortal, you, like you said, you learn everything, so you know what to avoid, I suppose. You'd have your own doomsday bunkers and everything as well. But I'd still rather be rich. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors, or go to the future and meet your grandkids? Now, as much as I'd love to meet the ancestors, I'm looking forward to see many versions of me that have made many versions of me. <laughs> <laughs> and teach them as much as I could, but I'd say my grandchildren would be so smart and know more than me, which is always a good thing. I always stimulate the minds and educate those young ones. Mm -hmm. What about you? I'd rather go back and meet the ancestors. You can <laughs> learn everything about your families and stuff like that that you never knew before. I suppose, actually, yeah. yeah. Why are your answers better than mine? Well, you can keep all the little things a secret for when, like, you know, we have them and stuff, and it's like, oh my god, if we didn't know that, then, you know, yeah. it'd be boring. You can perfect your porridge, then. <laughs> That's <laughs> true, you can. <laughs> the next is from The Pots Adventures. Hello, guys. Big Cheryl, thanks for asking. And they said, would you rather have unlimited battery on your phone or have unlimited Wi Fi wherever you go? That's a really good one, and ah, oh, I was there about the answer. I was like, hang on a minute, actually. I have my answer, so I'm gonna go first one. Yeah, thinking. you go ahead. I'd be thinking. Hey. I would rather have unlimited battery on my phone because my phone is like a landline all the time because it always needs to be charged. I would rather have unlimited battery. Life. I could never charge my phone properly. I leave here for ten minutes, and that's enough. I'd rather have unlimited Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, because I listen to a lot of music and I use a lot of internet to listen to the music. That's true. So, yeah. Mm. And also so I can just keep listening to George Michael over and over again. So yeah, I'll go with the Wi-Fi one, but I like your, like where you said battery, because your phone is in bits. Mm -hmm. So this is from Blanks No One Asked For. Welcome back! Big shout out to Blanks. <laughs> so would you rather lick your shoes at the end of every day? Or have someone randomly punch you in the face once a week. Got very violent. That just took a whole 180. <laughs> I don't know why. I'd rather have someone punch me in the face every day. Now once a week. Oh, once a week? Yeah. Oh, that's better again. Yeah, once a week will do. Yeah, I mean, once I a can... week will do. That's, that's enough. Yeah, I can walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd just rather lift me shield, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, build up my immune system and stuff. Oh, yeah. Still yeah. for immune system. Mm. Yeah. So we have James Eli Jam Maker. Big shout out to James. Like the name, love it. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so he said, How does it feel to grow your channel as fast as you did? That's a very good question, James. And I don't have that answer, but Danielle does. Go ahead. 
<laughs> We're still trying to come to terms with everything that's happening right now. So I don't know. Yeah. We well, haven't really given ourselves a minute to like stop and think. Yeah, we don't really want to give ourselves a minute. Like we're literally trying to get to know as many YouTubers as we can. The growth, now don't get me wrong, the growth's amazing. It's always big things to see, big numbers. But the only thing that will ever speak volumes to us is the community. Like we love seeing returning people, we love having chats for everyone exactly. in the comments. So we love all you guys. And thanks again, James, for that question, because mm -hmm. that is a really good one. Hopefully in the future we'll have a better answer for you. Yeah, exactly, because at the minute we don't have anything to say. We're in shock. shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. So it's amazing. It's just, it's very overwhelming as well. Yeah. Because like we weren't expecting it, so. No, we weren't. I mean, we're so thankful to everyone, but I don't think we can put it into words what it feels like. No, we couldn't. And we love each and every one of you guys. So we have Frank Potion. Big shout out to Frank Potion. So he asked, would you rather never eat chocolate again? Or eat a bug every day for the rest of your life. Give me that bug. Give me the bugs. Oh, <laughs> Give me the bugs. Oh my god, we have the same answer for this one. <laughs> we love chocolate, yeah. so no way. We need the bugs. I don't think I could imagine editing and not having like snacks. Oh yeah, so. we're doing a for that. Yeah. Who's next? So this is from Sam Hassel. I know I got your name wrong this time, but I still don't know how to pronounce it, so Sam, I am so sorry. Big shout out to Sam. Keep killing with them rhymes. And please let us know how to pronounce your name. Yeah, will you let us know, like, even send us a voice clip so we can, like, throw it up there. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to pronounce it wrong again. Yeah. Sam asked, who do you see as your biggest inspiration and what? I don't, I don't know. Like, that's a tough one. Mm. To say one person is our inspiration would not, not be enough. Like, at the moment, as it stands for us, we solely watch small YouTubers, yeah. we're solely on that, like we're very small in the community. We watch everyone mm. and they kind of spur us on to keep going, like we love what they do. And like, you have to give it to a lot of people because like, even though, you know, it's very hard and like, you can see some people fighting through the nerves to get going on that. You know, they're doing their best and you know, the communal came where everyone, basically YouTubers who are involved in the community return them when it's like everyone that has a chat with us on Twitter or social media or anything like that like that's that's really what keeps us going that's what inspires us yeah definitely what about you? yeah like it's amazing to see channels that we watch like from the start like when we started this yeah. like that we're connecting with and we have been connecting with for a while yeah growing and like getting the recognition that they deserve because they all deserve like so much yeah because all of our channels that we watch are just amazing. Yeah. I think I think what we love about it, like one sports is when you want to like people we've started with and seeing them grow as well. When you go onto their channel they have their own look and feel yeah. and you know you're on their channel and that's what we love about like we're always trying to capture that. Like that's yeah. what inspires us. And literally that's the kind of thing we want to convey here. That like when you're on their channel and then to see them see them grow with them. Like we're after starting and growing with them to see them where they are now. Now honestly, we watch a lot of channels that are in the small community. They're like, how are these guys not bigger? Yeah, we do say that a lot. Yeah, like, how are those not being picked up yet by the algorithm? We, we we don't know. And we've been saying this since like we found them on YouTube, yeah. and it's like, how like what is going on here? Literally, it's. it's I don't understand it. It's pretty bizarre. Yeah, it is. So this is uh, Tan May. Zuchi and he said, Where do you live? We live in Potato Land, Shamrock Land. I think the titles of some of our videos gives it away, but <laughs> just in case, yeah, we are from Ireland. We are from Ireland. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your question. We appreciate that. Exactly. We have nothing else to say on this, haven't we? <laughs> no, I don't know what more we can add to it, really. I think the accent's a bit of a giveaway, but it sure look filthy day and all that. If you know somebody, said to us that we're lying about being from Ireland. We were, I, I don't know what happened. why we wouldn't do that. We have been told we're British, we've been told we're American. We um for some reason we were told we were from Belfast. We were also told we're Australian as well. Yeah. I mean at least the American one and the British one you can kind of understand a little bit. Yeah. But Australia? Like that's I I don't I don't know. Oh, I don't know where that's coming from but so these next few are from some of my family members. They didn't want their names or anything like that being out there. That's fair enough. But we're going to ask the questions anyway. Exactly. And thank you. Share out to the fam. So would you rather speak your mind 
we'll never speak again. Speak one month. You speak gotta, you, again. Yeah, you gotta speak a month. And like, there's no point in staying silent. I think I got mad if I was never speaking again. Yeah. Like, I think like I'd end up wearing a full demo, shave my head completely bald, and get like an earring from the nineties if I never okay, speak. Okay, Justin Timberlake. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather live without your knees or without your elbows? I can crawl better on my knees, so I'd rather live without my elbows. <laughs> Basically, can't use my elbows anyway because I drop absolutely everything that I have. So, I mean, elbows is an easy one. <laughs> I don't even know how to use them properly anyway. They're only spares. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, would you rather know the world's secrets or live ignorantly? Give me all them deets. <laughs> I'd rather know all the world's secrets. I'd, I'd rather know the world's secrets, so I wouldn't want to live in ignorance. Because no. ignorance is not bliss. Like, it'd probably freak you out knowing a lot of the things. I want to know them. Yeah, the, the truth might hurt and the truth might come out, but it's better off knowing the truth. Was the X Files a show? Yes, it was also a skit too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this was a very lengthy post on our community tab on YouTube from Depred. Big shout out to Depred. Thanks again for this because that must have took quite a while to type that, so we appreciate that months. So, I'm gonna let you take over now. So this is a scenario would you rather question. Yeah. Yeah, let us know below what you would do for this one too. Yeah, we want to hear about this yeah, because this is really good. Things. Humanity is spreading throughout the Milky Way galaxy and colonizing various worlds. Your ancestors decided to leave the Earth and hop on one generation spaceship among a fleet of generation spaceships, all of which are headed towards a promising star system that's within 500 years of travel distance from Earth. This has meant that the choice for your life has been made long ago by your ancestors and now you're born on a generation spaceship and you don't have the option of living on Earth. Your entire culture revolves around life on Earth and now you've grown up listening, reading and watching it. You've never experienced it yourself. I think something like that would make people resentful of their ancestors for choosing to leave Earth. Luckily for you, your fleet of generation spaceships is about to arrive to the promising new star system on your next birthday. Assuming that you're as old as you are in real life today, but as you arrive at your destination, you find that this new star system is full of gas giants and only one rocky moon around a gas giant planet is in the habitable zone, i.e. The place that is not nearly as promising as it sounded to your ancestors when they condemned you to this place. Oh, oh condemned? This sounds like a movie. <laughs> yeah, this is, this sounds like a whole movie plot. You need to write this into Netflix, I'm proud. So, there is no Earth-like planet or moon in this star system. Would you rather? Right, what, what would we rather? One, live on a generation starship that is, after a couple of years of resupplying, Headed out on a 1,000 year voyage to another new promising star system, meaning you'll never reach your destination with your descendants, well. Number two, stay on the new moon that is not very conductive for life, meaning that you'd still be living unlike Earth, not open air to breathe, living in a pressurized spacesuit or a pressurized space habitat for the rest of your life. Being a part, being a part of an effort of terraforming the new moon to Earth-like standards, so that maybe in the future your descendants will get to experience what it's like living on Earth. Okay. Keep in mind, there's no guarantee that terraforming will happen. Oh. Or number three, sorry, wait for a while on the new moon colony, and hope for a significant enough propulsion technology upgrade with the help from Earth so that you can build a new faster generation spaceship which covers the 1000 year distance to the next star system in just 300 years. Keep in mind that Earth and its massive population and industry have been doing R&D for centuries since your generation spaceship left, meaning that it's quite possible that Earth would have researched new population technologies you wouldn't know until the signals from Earth have reached you after decades of travel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. The scenario assumes either way that you don't have the option to return to Earth or any similar planet colony that is conducted to your life in your own lifetime. Wow. So, 
They are very, very detailed and in depth, and we do appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. And it's very hard to choose, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with number three. Number three, I was gonna say number one. This we're gonna have to agree to this I know. agree. I get impatient. I'd look at me like, what is this? Yeah. There's more hope over that way. And you've been on it for the, your, your whole life anyway. So you don't know if you're gonna get off it and you could have a big freak out with that kid. Yeah. So I'd rather be like, no, you know what? We can go that way instead. What would you rather? Number three? Number three. I'm yeah. gonna stick to number three. You win. That's just me. Why would you win? Um, everyone down below, let us know what you thought of that because we thought it was brilliant. You haven't let us know what you thought. You just said number three. Yeah. Why? <laughs> have to give a why? Yeah, I get a why. So R and D, mm -hmm. right, is being conducted by Earth. Fair enough, right? But like the ship you were on, super quick anyway, leaving there. Yeah, but you'd rather give a new generation a chance. So that's what I think. Because at the end of the day, you're after living through that on that kind of experience and like resentment. Mm -hmm. So you'd rather try and change it. But I suppose that comes in conflict, then she might create another resentment generation. I think that I'll be resentment generations until everyone settles. Yeah. Could they? It could be. I already stunned there because it's very. Like it makes you want to pick a, a lot of answers for it though. No, oh, I definitely am going the first one. Yeah. So, number one for you. Number one for me, number three for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and let us know down below what you would answer this question. Yeah. Because we would like to know because what? Yeah, well, that was a great question. That was also sound like a film as well. Yeah, it sounded like a movie plot. That was amazing. It's okay, that's right. If we make that film, we'll give you a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments, let us know. Like even not not just that one. Any question there? If you have your own answers for this, yeah, we, we, we'd love to hear what you think. Of, mm -hmm. of course, like it's it's all about community here, so we want to know what you what you are thinking as well after this. Yeah, hundred percent. So throw it down below. And if you have any other questions for us, let us know too and we probably do a second one if we get enough questions. Yeah, if we get enough questions, we'll do a part two. So thanks to everyone for asking us all the lovely questions. We appreciate that. Oh yeah, 100%. We have learned a lot about ourselves today. Yeah. <laughs> we don't agree on anything. No, <laughs> <laughs> so as always, you are the beautiful people of YouTube. And we have been on Stable TV. That's me and you. <laughs> so, like we said, drop a comment below, and if you have any other questions to ask us or you want to answer questions, drop them in the comments. And as always, we will see you in the next one. We're at the new colony now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.